All right, uh, here's the copper cell that we will use to strip that silver plate off. It, uh, it's working pretty well in my opinion. I ran a test sample earlier today and uh, the first run stripped really well. In the second run, maybe I stopped it too early, but it uh, flaked off and uh, you can see it in the water there where I rinsed it off. But uh, man, I think we're, we're coming along. I could probably put a couple more bars on that. So, you know, we're just, we're still going through it, but man, it's uh, putting some copper on that plate too. That looks, looks pretty good, man. I, I think that this is a good solution. It's not going to be the fastest and, you know, the, still haven't ruled out that sulfuric acid and nitrate, but for what we're going to do today, I feel like I can leave this overnight and let it run. And then we'll drill some more holes and bars tomorrow and see how that works out. But so we're going to process that silver plate. And here is the silver plate I had to cut up into seven inch strips. And then we drilled holes in it for the cathode bar. So that's it. Let's take a look. Almost there. I feel like I could squirt that stuff off. So we'll uh, power down and take a look. So we are going to upsize. I've made nine bars and I'll put that in there. We're going to start that up. But this silver plated project is uh, coming along really well with the copper sulfate. So, all right, I had to increase the current, I guess, because the size of the anode bars. But we're going to get a close up of this. And I'll show you the deposit. Not too bad. It's looking pretty good, looking pretty good, man. I, I feel like this is coming along. All right, I had to increase the current, I guess because the size of the anode bars. But we're gonna get a close up of this. And I'll show you the deposit. So it's not too bad. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good, man. I, I feel like this is coming along.